Hey everybody, Ricky and Andy Gabby, Thoroughbred Racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Friday, June the 22nd, handicapping for trackmaster.com. Let's head over to race 6, 8.16 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 8.3 furlongs on the dirt. We have Phillies in May, which is 3 years old, and up racing for a starter allowance prize of some $16,200. Contenders number 2, Amanda's Best, number 1, Elma. Number four, Lady Turk, and number five, Shackle would be good. Number two, Amanda's Best takes a class drop of three units. This is the overall speed and pace profile leader in Solanus Field. They sit the board in color and fashion each of the last five bodies, with no finish worse than second, including the pair of power run wins embedded in this recent street of racing consistency. Number one, Elma, the morning line favorite, is the board in four straight, winning twice including a power run win in their last start. Race 6 summary, number 2, Amanda's Best, tops the tennis list tonight here at Ken Matt. She also includes number 1, Elma, number 4, Lady Turk, and number 5, Shackle, good, 2, 1, 4, 5, in the 6th and 10 national. Friday long shots, Churchill Downs, race 5, number 11, Katuka County, 4 to 1 in the morning line, drops in class by 6 and he took the board in power run fashion in two of his last three. Missing his diploma in the third race back by just a photograph back at the wire and determined to kept the lead break his mate. Gulf Swing Park, race number two, number six, Stella Mikina. Five to one in the morning line, took the board in power run fashion in three of the last five, leading both in the last start as well as in the fourth race back. So from Penn National on a Friday, for trackmaster.com, reminding you. Always. That would be